Hi, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be going through a question uh, that that will have a mixed uh, concept. First of all, uh, we'll be uh, using strings, we'll be using uh, loops and also we'll be going through the objects of course. So how to solve a particular question that from the very beginning if you look at that question it will look like okay this is related to arrays or this is something related to strings but then uh, as, as you go into finding the solution of that particular question though then you will come to understand okay now i have to use the objects and some other inbuilt javascript utilities that we have so i always say that you should know the very basic utilities that we have in javascript so that if you have to use them on the go in your any interview then you should uh, be able to remind it ki, huh, okay i already have this sort of thing and i can use it to solve this particular problem right here okay so without any further ado let's go go to our code runner and check how this works and how how we will be able to find the solution of this problem okay so our question for today is we have to find the first known repeating character in a string so how does that looks? So basically, if you look into your input one, it is Kirandeep. So what is the first character which is repeated, like which is not at all repeated, basically, which is which comes only once in a string. Um, that is K. Uh, I is also uh, coming only one time. But if you look into it, then the K is the first one, which is the first known repeating. I is the second one. So what we have to do is we have to return the index of the first known repeating character. So in input one, the first known repeating character is K and it is lying in the index zero. I hope that's clear. Uh, I'm not sure why I have kept it input four, but yeah, this is input two. Let's see. Um, I, 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 L, 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 B, 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 Q. So I is a not known repeating because it is repeating three times same with l same with b but we have q here which is coming only one time so q is the result and uh, it is at the index nine so we should return nine from this program then we have a a b and c c so a is repeating itself but b is not repeating itself and that is the first character which is not repeating itself so uh, what what will be the index of b2 so we will return 2 coming over to our input next the last input that's double a and double b so we do not have any um, character basically which is uh, not repeating so a is also repeating and b is also repeating uh, so in that case you just simply return minus 1 from the function i hope that's clear uh, let's move on to find the solution so what we are going to do, we, we know that strings are also iterable. So you can loop over the strings as well. So what we have to do is we have to maintain an object which contains some keys and some values. So the keys would be these characters right here, K, I, R, A, N. And it's the, the value should be how many times are they coming in this string. So first of all, we have to maintain this object. If we can maintain this sort of object where all the keys would represent the characters and all the values will represent how many times are these characters coming. Then we can move ahead and we can check the first known repeating and the index. So th there are two basically uh, steps that we have to follow to find the solution of this problem. So let's go ahead. Let's create one object that's an empty object as of now. So what we will do, we will apply a loop over our string. And we know uh, we have four of loops that we can actually apply over, over the strings, over the arrays. We can also apply the typical for loop, but yeah, this is more cleaner way to do the same thing. So then you can check if in the object, there is some key which is already existing. For example, if I take this example, so the very first item is K. So you will check if there is already a key with the name K. If there is already some key, then just increment its value. Like let's say K is already there. So its value would be one. Otherwise, you just have to increment its value. Like else obj.item 
equals one. So what does it say? That you will loop over this string. The very first character is k. So it will check whether there is any key which is existing in this object, which is uh, with k, which is the character k. It says no, I don't have anything. So it will go to else block and it will give its value one. So now in your object, you have a key k and then you have its value as one. Then it moves on to i. It goes here. It says, do you have any object in uh, uh, like, do you have any key in this object uh, which is named as i? And it says, no, I don't have. So it goes to else and it will also keep its value one. So now you have k colon value one, i one. Same with R, same with A, same with N, same with D, same with E, but then you will also get E again. So what it'll do, it'll, it'll go here, it'll, it'll say, do you have any key in this object with named as key, uh, sorry, with named as E? And it says, yes, I have. So just increment its value for me. So it says two. So now E has the value two and same with P. So this is what this for loop is doing and this is how you will maintain your object. If I check what do we have in our object, you'll get k1, i1, r1, a1, n1, b1, e2, and p also 1. So now we have maintained this object with us. Now what we have to do, we just have to find the first character whose value is 1. So how do we loop over the... Uh, objects we use for in loop so we will use our for in loop and we will check if whatever the value for that particular key is and if that value is one then you have to return that item so if i check i get this one um, that's k but the caveat is that we don't have to return the character but what index is it at so you can simply use um, string dot index of method so index of your item and then you can check it's zero so we have this this was the question for string but you i treated over the string you used four of you used four ins you used how to use the object properly how to use some inbuilt utilities like index of so this is a combination of various things that are oftenly used in JavaScript. And that is the reason this question is very, very uh, oftenly asked in interviews. I hope that's clear. Uh, if there is any uh, doubt, if you have regarding this question, that's not clear, please leave a comment below and we can discuss it over there. And also, if you want me uh, to discuss your doubts, you can also connect with me on my LinkedIn. I'll leave a link below in the description box. Now let's go over to the other inputs. That's our input two. Input two is double A, B, double C, and your result should be two. And correctly, we have A two, we have B one, we have C two, and you will return B, which is having a value of one. And then let's go over to check input three. For input three, okay, because we forgot to return minus one. If there is no item like its value is one, then finally you should return minus one from here. And hence you get this. And finally, if we check for our input four, that's nine and exactly what we predicted. For Q, the, uh, the character which is unique, uh, which is existing only one time is Q and its index is nine. So I hope this question is clear. Be prepared for this question. This question is very, very, uh, very much asked in interviews, maybe, they will tilt it like somehow probably they will ask you first known character a first known repeating character or sometimes they will ask you last known repeating character or they will ask you to return all the known repeating characters so if you want to practice these sort of questions i have given you i have already given you like three examples to find the first we have discussed here to find the last known repeating character um to to find the all known repeating characters or to find a particular string which has like AA. So uh, return me the index which has continuous AA in it. So those sort of questions are also solved using this concept and this pattern. This pattern is very, very 
uh, useful and you should be very comfortable working with this pattern like where you have a string or you have an array given and you are converting it to object to find some specific uh, things in your uh, given program. I hope that's clear and that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment section below if you want me to make these videos in Hindi as well or in some other language, preferably Hindi, uh, of course. So some, some people are saying that they want me to make videos in Hindi. So if that's, uh, that's something that can help people, I'm very much comfortable making them in Hindi as well. So do let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one.